Launching a startup is a long journey with many difficulties. But it gets easier with a friend. My CTO friend. Hi everyone and welcome to the CTO Tips. Today, I'm going to share with you how to manage multiple developers working on the same project. More than working in the same startup, it's important to keep them all working on the same project because they will be able to help each other and to challenge each other. While if you separate the work, it's, it's only a, you might have some communication issues. So now let's talk about how to put all their work together and to keep it organized. So if you have a, a developer's team, you might use I think a repository. You should use a repository. This is where, like Git as example, this is where you're gonna put all your source code or your developers gonna put all your source code. You as a manager, you might have a to-do list where you're gonna put all the features that you wanna develop. Uh, it's also called a backlog or uh, the, uh, which, which some stories. So all the to-do that you have should have a number. Number one, number two, three, etc. Now, what is important on your repository is to ask to all your developers to create one branch per features, which means you are now, as example, on the development branch. This is the development branch. And on the development branch, every time a developer starts something new, he should create his own branch, number one as example, and as soon as he finished the development of that feature, he should merge his work to the other one. While maybe another developer gonna work on the features too, and merge just right after. And it's gonna work in that way all along the development. No matter which merge first, or if someone is leaving, or if someone is coming back later after vacation, it's always, always the same. You can organize in that way, and then, only then, when you finished all the features that you wanted, do, you wanted to do in the sprint, then you can put it in test and then in production and you're going to create what is called a tag. So that's a basic introduction on how the developers should manage their source code on a, a project like a startup. But of course, I invite you to check on mycityofriend.co if you want to learn more on how to drive your developers uh, along the the growth of your company, uh, I would be uh, delighted to help you more through uh, the courses videos. So for now, I uh, wish it, it was helpful and I look forward to see you inside mycityofriend.co. Bye for now.